Hi, I'm Dalton Ward. I'm standing out the front of our uh, one of our largest demolition jobs going on at the moment in the city. We're on the corner of Wolf and Albert Street, and we're taking down a seven-storey structure with a five-storey structure adjacent to it. It was once called the Pigeon Palace because there was a whole heap of pigeons living in it. So we've started the building with a strip out. We didn't actually have any room or a ramp to set a crane up so we had to initially start by chain blocking the machinery throughout the building because we couldn't actually access the middle floors with a crane. It was actually quite challenging so we hand broke a hole in the floor and then attached the chain block from the floor above that and uh, hoisted the machines up the building by hand. One of the initial challenges was guana built up from the pigeons, so basically guana is pigeon poo and when it's dry and inhaled it's actually really deadly, it's got a lot of diseases that can occur from exposure to that. We had to clean the floors out before we could get in and start demolishing the floors. Very similar to sort of removing asbestos in the sense that you use the same PPE and the same techniques of removal, you want to get rid of the contamination altogether before you can open up that area again. We started off just using um, two ton equipment, um, that's what our floors are rated for. Once we got up to the top, um, we were able to pretty much back prop the building back three bays and we bumped it up to three and a half tonners. Bought a brand new robotic machine. The first decks are 300 in New Zealand. We were able to break beams that our three tonner would sit there and tap away at all day and the DXR just flies through them. The edge of a seven storey building is quite daunting but when you're doing it with a robot, it just makes things a lot easier and a lot safer. So some of the challenges that we faced along this project is we discovered that there was a missing rebar in some of the front facade areas and it sort of varied from floor to floor. On the first wall we pulled out there was no rebar at all. Coming down the building it was sometimes there, sometimes wasn't. Name's Zoran. I've worked for Ward 17 years and 10 months. Before that, 10, 15 years in Australia. I've done a lot of floor by floor buildings in my time as you can see by my age but this one was nothing I like I've ever seen before. You rely on the strength of the building to pull it apart. Half of this building didn't have any rebar in it. We uh, took all precautions, tensed it with straps and turfers, separated the top, cut the rebar and flicked it in and the bottom flew in which is what we want. It's not out on Federal Street on a Saturday morning. We made sure we didn't take any chances. G'day, my name's Hayden. Um, I've worked for Ward Demolition for about seven or eight years now. Another thing that was quite challenging was the concrete slab behind me over here. Um, it only had a thin layer of mesh and only like 100 mil of concrete. Um, so it had to be shore loaded and everything to put machines on it. Yeah, it was quite slow going because we had to obviously prop it and remove props before we could demolish the slab. It was quite weird because the, the beams themselves had very, very thick rebar in them. Um, and that was also quite challenging to cut through with little shears, so we actually ended up having to gas cut most of that steel. One of the other initial challenges we had was we had a seven storey building that was attached to a heritage listed building. Pretty much had to saw cut it down the facade and separate our building from theirs and do a lot of vibration monitoring and crack monitoring just making sure that nothing moved or nothing was out of place once we left it as we come down the building. Hi I'm Richie, I'm a senior site supervisor at Ward Demolition for 5 to 11 Albert Street. Been on this site for about five months, working under Dalton as a bit of a leading hand alongside him. We've done the floor by floor, 
we brought the high reach in, which is behind us. was a bit tricky. Dalton did a great job. The thicker steel rebars in the building were quite hard to cut. He managed to get through it and he did a great job at doing it. He's a top gun operator. Hi, I'm Bailey Ward. I'm one of the operators here on the Albert Street job. As you can see behind me, we've just about finished the pink and grey building. We've had the high reach in here for the past week, getting all the high points of the building ready for the 50 tonne to come in and finish the job. All that's left is the three-storey parking building. This consists of a floor by floor down to the last floor where we'll move in with machines and finish the job. It's been a really exciting project. It was good to see the high reach come in and chew away at the building that had taken us months to get to that point. I'm glad to see it going.